The Steelheads and head coach Everett Sheen reached a two-year contract extension recently. I caught up with the man behind the Steelies bench to see what life's been like since March 2020 when COVID shut down his first season as head coach here in Boise. Well, Everett, let's, uh, let's just start with the contract extension. What did that mean to you? Yeah, it was, um, it was great, honestly, to, to get two more years here to instill my vision, uh, especially with the first year being cut short. I'm very pleased to receive that extension. How tough have the last 20 months been for you? Uh, they've been long, that's for sure. Um, but it's also, you know, it comes with this blessing. I've got to spend a lot of time with family uh, and all that. And, you know, can't complain. I know there's people in worse off situations. Um, but yeah, it's been tough, but at least we've had the ice in here. You know, there's been people here playing hockey and just to kind of see the ice getting used has been nice, but it's it's been a long 20 months yet. Yeah. We first got shut down my son Parker, he was nine months old, I think, and now he's two, two and a little bit. And just the changes I've seen on a day-to-day -day basis that I probably would have missed out on if we had been traveling is, it's been a blessing, absolutely. The last 20 months for you, how did you fill that empty time? Um, a lot of different ways. We actually, we were helping out here around the hotel, uh, you know, chipping in, driving the hotel shuttle and, uh, helping out the cleaning staff when they were short staffed and so we yeah they kept us busy and you know we were happy to help out. What was that like? It, it was an eye opener absolutely uh, you know just seeing uh, what these uh, cleaning crews have to do deal with in a hotel on a day-to-day -day basis opens your eyes made being away from the game even tougher in the sense that you know you really want I really wanted to be coaching and now I've really cemented you know how much I love what I do reflect on the last season and not being able to play or coach what was the toughest thing for you um just not being around the guys um that's you know that's a big part of why i do what i do i like being around the team a team atmosphere um, teaching the game um, i was lucky enough to go help out texas our affiliate for a couple weeks so i got a, a little taste of coaching again which is nice and learn a few things but yeah, just being around the team that's been the toughest part trying to put your roster together for this season what are some key components you look for when you're bringing players on board? Um, I like guys that can skate. You know, as the teams here in the past, we've, we've been fast, um, heavy. Especially in this division, you got to be able to play a physical game and, and a tough game, but we also want to be skilled. Um, but the biggest thing we look for is just good people. You know, that's, so we spend a lot of time together, so you just want to surround yourself with good people that are willing to work. Home opener is in late October. A. How much are you looking forward to that? And B, what were your emotions do you think they'll be? Really looking forward to it. I imagine there'll be a few ner nervous butterflies kicking around in there. Um, it's just going to be awesome. I, I can see this place already just being absolutely packed. Uh, the fans will be happy to have us back. And, you know, I'm just, I'm really looking forward to it. A little nervous, you know, see if I can shake the rust off, but <laughs> uh, I'm mostly just very excited. That kid sums up how I feel, how you feel about hockey season. It's almost back. I think Coach is right. I think the fans are going to come back in huge numbers. Uh, I don't think the first game is going to be the only one that's going to be sold out. Yeah. I think the second one, the third one, the fourth one, yeah. fans are starved right now for Steelheads hockey here. And come October 22nd, we're going to get it. We're going to get it. We're going to be there. We cannot wait. Camp opens up early October. So, and I love the fact that these guys helped out the Grove Hotel cleaning right? staff right? and the shuttle service. <laughs> can you imagine that? Some of these hockey guys just pitching in. Helping out where you can. I love it. Great Thanks story.